getting lots of fuzzy and today I'm going to be recreating this eye look on this eye and this is about after 9 hours of wear time and as you can see there's some staining um, so hold what you will the transfer is not supposed to actually be there that's just because of my eye shape if I look like down like this all of that creasage goes down. I'm going to try to stop prevent that from happening um, by using this palette which is Clairpop X Becky G Savage palette. I might pronounce that wrong and I apologize but that is what we're going to use to recreate this look. I was actually requested on Instagram to recreate this look that I had done because someone wanted to see how I did it. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to zoom you guys in and we will get started. Okay, you guys are zoomed in here. So I'm going to start out with some Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and I don't have a mirror at the moment so I'm using the modern to see my eyelid. <laughs> Not a good strategy but we're gonna do that anyways. I'll have a mirror when I do the actual eyeshadow part. I just want to put down a base for you guys and I also normally use base anyways. Okay so the part that I didn't do earlier when I first did this look is I didn't use Supernova shadows, but I'm going to use them in this part of the look. See if I put that in the crease, with the shadow on top, if it prevents some of the creasing. Or at least the transfer that happened. But I don't know if that's going to be true or not. I'm trying to remember the steps I did, took this morning to make this look. I don't 100% remember what I did. Because I honestly wasn't thinking about filming a video, but someone really wanted to see it. And I haven't had a normal look in a while, so... We'll do that. Um, I'm going to start off with Lola, which I do know is what I started with. I think I took Lola. I did it here. Just like that. And then I went into Sangria. This is going to be a kind of quick tutorial because I've already done it once, so I'm not making it up as I go, which actually is what I should do. <laughs> Blending that back and forth. There we go. Next, with a kind of dome brush, I went into this shade right here. Is called Vibra. I just took that in the outer corner here, like so. And then I took that actually underneath my lower lash line as well, about yay much. And then I went in with Sangria next to that. And I totally forgot to put it back on concealer. Oops. That's where I put that. And then I went into Lola, which is that first shade that we took. And I put it there. Now this is our part where I decided just to finish the lower lash line. You don't have to do this order, this is just what I did. So we're going to take ColourPop uh, Cream Gel Liner in DTLA, which is kind of like a navy blue. And I did half of my lower lash line with that. Or the water line, I should say. About there. And then I took a Morphe liner. This one is in Lydia, which is kind of a maroony shade, which kind of goes with Sangria. I did the other half with that. So there we go. Starting to get somewhat where I was at with the, that look. So next, actually the inner corner, and that was with Estrella. Which is this kind of champagne shade. And I popped that right here. And 
And then next, I'm going to take a flat brush and this shade right here, which I think is uh, Sirena. It's like Siren with an A at the end. And then I just pat that across the lid. It's very pigmented, but it does stain your eyes. To see your eyes. So that's where we're at currently. Next, I'm going to pause on the shadow and go in with NYX Epic Ink Liner. So I grab a different mirror. And then we're going to do a wing. It's not the same wing, but it's close enough. That's where we're at currently. So now this is the part where I'm going to switch up from what I did initially. Just to see if I can help with that transfer. So, I'm going to take ColourPop Supernova Shadow in Astrology. This one was a collaboration with Kathleen Lights. I don't know if this shade is still available on their website. This is different from what I did on this eye. Just to see if I can make it look slightly not true. Oh, that just all fell onto my eyelash. Perfect. That's what we want. I apologize if I'm going in and out of focus. My camera does not auto focus. So we're going to put that down as a base here. So you're wondering why it transferred? It's because it's in the fold of my eye. So if I look down, it becomes very, very apparent that it transferred, as you guys can tell. It takes a while for it to do it, but over the day, it will transfer. So this might help it to not transfer right away, but I cannot guarantee that, and that's just purely my eye shape. Oh, now I'm taking another Supernova Shadow, and this is Firecracker. That was not focused, but that's what I'm using. Okay. Now that's across. And these don't transfer. They do flake if you disturb them enough, but I like to set them so they don't. So next I'm going to go in with Corona, which is this gold shade. I'm going to put that on top of where we put Astrology. So just like that. And then I'm going to take Patrona, which is this shade. And put that over Firecracker. That is all we got going on for us. So now comes mascara. Today I'm using the Milk Mascara Kush Mascara. Milk Makeup Kush Mascara, not Milk Make Mascara Kush Mascara. I'm just going to put that on. Now in the picture, I post on Instagram, I have false lashes on. Typically for photos, I like to put those on for you guys, because I feel like it completes the look, but I don't actually end up wearing them throughout the day. Like, I'll wear them for like an hour or so, and I, I'm done with them. So, these are the ones I'm wearing, which are the Ardell Studio FX Layered Lashes, and then they're Demi Wispies. So it's basically like a Demi Wispy lash, and then they take some more lashes and put them on the edge, so you don't have to do it yourself. Which I like, and I'll put them on on both eyes, just to get the full effect. I should have had them on, but I don't. 
So I'll just pop them on now and then I'm using a uh, dual lash glue. That's uh, this guy. My dog chewed on it. <laughs> you guys can't tell. Apparently they, they found it. It must have rolled off my desk or something and I didn't realize it. So they ate it. This is the one that goes onto the fresh eye. I did not wait for that to dry. Lovely. There is the finish eye. But I put the lash on here so you can see the full comparison. While I'm applying the lash glue on here, because this is going to be sort of a short, quick video, um, do you just want more of these? Like where I have like a look that I've been wearing all day and then I recreate it on one of the eyes. Like I take it off and then reapply it, <laughs> basically. Like I've done with this one. I found it easier to recreate a look if I had look right on. But you can also see like how it wore on me all day long. Like I will not fault the shadow for that. I'll fault my eyes for that. I did not put that on where I had my eyeliner. But there we go. So there is a fresh applied lash. Which has some trash for happening. But not that. So maybe later today it will have that full transfer, but that's what we're looking like for a difference between the two. I zoomed back out. Um you know, the camera fit. <laughs> Stop recording too. Um, so yeah, there we go. So there's a fresh applied eye versus an eye that's been on for about eight hours. I know if you guys want more of these type of videos, which are kind of like at the end of the day, so I'm kind of tired and my the rest of my makeup's kind of worn off. But I thought it was kind of fun to do, so I might do another one in the future because you guys can see how it kind of wears throughout the day versus when I first do all the Instagram, take the pictures of it. Yeah. I don't know. You guys let me know. Hope you guys liked this. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to the hot back. And I'll see you guys in our video where I'll probably be doing something else or we'll do another one of these. I don't know. You guys let me know. Alright, see ya.